All right, so here is the other worldly elite flyweight out of Guadalajara, Mexico, Alexa Grasso. And it's interesting to look back to early portions of her UFC career. After the Carla Esparza loss in 2019, she had lost three of five, and nobody envisioned her as a future UFC champion, but she has stayed committed to the cause every step of the way. Her grappling improvement has been unbelievable. She's always been an outstanding boxer, but she has honed that, of course, under her uncle, Francisco Grasso. This is one of the very best flyweights in the world. She is as committed to the cause as any man or woman in the world. I'm excited to see what she can do with this showcase here tonight. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her wake tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she's, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that has so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. Big shot to the head. Home going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. That's a good jab by her there. Oh, these are some punishing leg kicks that she's landing in the early going here. Not sure if she has hit that perennial nerve just yet, yeah. champ, but a lot of damage you can already see. She is turning her hip into the kick. She's throwing her entire body into that leg kick. She's not just throwing it as a feeler. She... Oh, what a shot by her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. Big right hand there. Oh, huge left. Well, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are trading strikes, and both are landing at will. Yeah, edge of your seat action. We expected it to be good. These women are delivering. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice right hand. She blocked that punch. 
Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into this fight. It will be on her to once again land one of those brutal punches to try to knock her out this time. Two minutes. Well, she better not be too dismissive of this calf kick because I see some visible bruising now. Well, the first one doesn't bother you. But then before you know it, all of a sudden you can barely walk. She needs to start checking right now. She's walking out. She's hurt very bad. She's on skates. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's going to take one more that's going to end the night. Look for her to throw that overhand again here. She continues to circle towards the left. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Oh, oh my goodness. Back and forth we go. Massive shots being landed on both sides. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Final seconds here. Huh. Round two straight ahead. All right, good news is the round is over. Bad news, Grosso's bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, that round is in the books. Let us show you the replays, including some of these strikes that led to what is a pretty significant cut on her forehead. A pretty significant cut. She was on the wrong end of a lot of damage. She has got to move her head. But hats off to the opponent, knowing exactly what she needed to do, knowing exactly where and what strikes she should throw when she Ready. threw them to get the Ready. maximum amount of damage Good. off on her opponent. That was a great round by her. And certainly not the worst cut that we've ever seen, but one that bears watching as this fight continues. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You got to make a decision when you get up off of your stool going into the next round that this is my fight and I am not going to allow it to slip through my fingers. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice shot there by the champ. She does a great job of getting that leg to the target. Beautiful leg kick. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments. And her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her. But now you see it. The game plan, everything's clear now. And we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down the finish. So we call all the numbers here, DC. 39 total strikes for Holly Holm. And if you care about the efficiency, connecting with a 37% accuracy rate against Alexa Grasso. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. Look at the inside leg kick. She grabs her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Oh, with authority, the body. Two minutes to go in the round. And A swing and a miss by Holm. Oh, she's trying to connect on the overhand left. Not there. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there, and you land something, and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on that. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, roundhouse kick. 
just when you thought you had seen it all. She throws everything into that strike. Real quick leg kick. Two rounds in the books. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Third round underway. All right, so two pretty good previous rounds. Now another round is underway. Your thoughts on what we might see here over these five minutes? That one of these young ladies will really start to try and drive the point home that she is the better fighter. That was a big check. She lands up top with a great combo. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it. Now. Sapphire there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh! Way to hide that leg kick. Strike is targeted and lands to the calf. She needs to check one of these sooner rather than later. I mean, she's got to. Right now, her calf is getting destroyed. She better switch her stance. She better check. She's got to start to react a little quicker, or she's going to get finished this way. Two minutes to go. Shot to the body connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. Well, you've heard us say it a lot, but oftentimes with the leg kicks, it doesn't take a whole lot of them to inflict damage, and now her opponent's limping already. Yeah, her opponent's limping. She's done a really good job of attacking that leg kick and setting it up to make sure that opponent never checked them. Now she's at a point where even if she checks a kick, it's still going to hurt her. Swing and a miss by Hall. <laughs> Leading with that right punch. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, looked like maybe she cracked a smile there at the end of the round, and it'd be hard to blame her. She really stunned her opponent in that previous round, and you got to think she'll go for the finish here in the next. John, you know she's a stone-faced killer. Right. So when she's smiling, you understand that she did something good, and she did something really good in that last round, securing that big right hand that almost closed the show. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody Ready wants to, to take a step back? Ready. They meet in the middle. Yeah. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go. I'm excited, man. Fourth round is underway as we hit these championship rounds. Both of these women with a lot still left in the tank, or so it seems. They did a great job of preparing himself for the long fight. Let's see who can sustain the energy over the next round. Oh, 
Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, big head kick. Rosso's left leg appeared to be damaged by that last kick, so could be an emerging storyline as this fight continues. She's getting up. Yep. Oh, my goodness. What a kick. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Holly, the preacher's daughter. So another big win in a career full of them for the preacher's daughter, Holly Holm.